Good evening, Clarice. I am. Um, I brought your drawings, just in case. At least until you get a a better view. How very thoughtful. Or oh, did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before you're both booted off the case? No. I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. Alain de Tal. How nice. <laughs> and Thrax Island. That was an especially nice touch, Clarice. Yours? Yes. Yes. That was good. Pity about poor Catherine, though. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Lewis Friend. Iron Sulfate. It's also known as Fool's Gold. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. With all due respect, Doctor, you know everything about everyone. You couldn't have talked to this Lewis friend even once and walked away knowing so little about him. It's because you made him up, didn't you? Clarice. You're hardly in a position to accuse me of lying. You were being honest with me back in Boston, sir. Please continue. I've read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find them is right there in those pages. Tell me how. Simplicity, Clarice. Causal nature. What is the first principles? Read Marcus Aurelius. Of each particular thing, ask, what is it in itself? What does he do, this man you seek? He kills women. No, 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 that's incidental. What is the first and principal thing he does? What need does he seek? What need does he serve by killing? Anger, social acceptance, sexual frustration. Oh no, no, he covets. That is his causal nature. And how do we begin to covet, Clarice? Do we seek out things to covet? No. No, precisely. We begin by coveting what we see every day. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clarice? I can hardly see how you couldn't. And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Yes, but just tell me how. No, it's your turn to tell me, Clarice. You haven't got any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? Doctor, we don't have time for this right Ah, now. but we don't reckon time the same way, do we, Clarice? This is the only time you'll ever have. Doctor, I've only got five more minutes before they come in here. No, I will listen now. After your father's murder, you were 10 years old. You were orphaned. You went to live with cousins on a sheep and horse ranch in Montana. And... And one morning I just ran away. Not just, Clarice. What set you off? You left at what time? It was early, it was still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? I heard a strange sound. What was it? It was... 
she was screaming like uh, like a, a child's voice. And what did you do? I, I ran downstairs. I snuck into the barn. God, I was so scared. But I, I had to. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? I saw lambs. And they were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. They were screaming. And you ran away. No. I, <clears throat> I um, I actually jumped into the barn. I opened the pen and they just, they just stood there. Like they, they were so confused. They didn't even move. But you could, and you did, didn't you? I took one lamb and I ran as fast as I could. Where were you going, Clarice? I don't, I don't know. I didn't have any food. I didn't have any water. It was, it was cold and he was so heavy. It, God, he was so heavy and I didn't get very far before the, the sheriff picked me up and the rancher was so pissed he actually sent me to live at a orphanage in Bosnia. And I never saw that ranch again. What became of your lamb, Clarice? They killed him. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? Wake up in the dark and hear that screaming of the lambs. Yes. And you think, if you save poor Catherine, that you can make him stop, don't you? I don't... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You think, if Catherine lives, that you won't wake up in the dark and ever again to that awful screaming of the lambs? Tell me his name, Doctor. Thank you, Clarice. Thank you. Tell me his name, Doctor. Doctor Chilton, I presume. You two know each other, I think. Tell me his name, Doctor. Brave Clarice. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? I need his name. Clarice. Your case files. Bye, Clarice.